Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, which is like the 27th. No, today is the 27th. My day off, you know, because of the holiday, and it's, you know, so it feels like it's a Sunday, but it's really a Monday. I think it's Monday anyway. It seems like it is a Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. So, yeah, it's uh, for tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday, tomorrow, the 28th. So let's see what comes up for the 28th. Where are we at for the 28th? Wow. Let's see. What do we have for the 28th? This is just an overall energy. Keep in mind that this reading is for somebody, not everybody. It may or may not be for you. What do we have for the 28th? Well, this is the Hierophant. Uh, this is a card of truth. It's a card of faith. Believing in oneself, listening to your inner guide. Inner guidance. Are you listening? What does your gut tell you? What does your intuition tell you? What does your in inner guide tell you? Are you listening? Maybe it's time to go within. To receive the guidance that you have been ignoring. Maybe it's time to really listen. What does your soul want? This is also a card of commitment. It's represented by the sign of Taurus. Oh, okay. We have the hangman, the empress, and the nine of cups reversed. Somebody has been in a state of suspension, a state of limbo, stuck, resisting change, needing to see something from a new, new perspective. We have this empress here, you know, she's pretty uh, pertinent, right? I mean, she's she's... Staying right in her power. She's staying right in focus. Nine of Cups reversed. This is things starting to look up. This is a wish coming true. This is deep fulfillment is coming. The Nine of Cups reversed. A bond is deepening. Maybe somebody is getting in a commitment. Somebody could be getting even proposed to or something like that. I mean, this is the marriage card. It really is. It's a marriage card. And this is deepening a bond. Now, this empress is a beautiful soul. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but it's a commitment. This is a beautiful, beautiful soul. This is, you know, Venetian energy. So this is abundance. This is love. This is compassion. So we have a very compassionate, loving individual here who, well, somebody may be seeing something differently and, 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 and I don't know, we're going to have to get some more cards, but this is seeing th something through a new perspective, hopefully, but this person has been in a state of suspension, so I don't know if they're coming out of it or not. But here we have this person who is very valuable and has multiple options. We talk about her a lot. Options and opportunities come after her. She doesn't even have to look for them. She vibrates at such a high level that things are drawn to her. 
Mm. Two of Wands reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody opening up. Letting go of fear and opening up. Somebody has been trying to protect themselves by staying, you know, living a mundane life, staying in the safety zone. But there, there's a deep bond here. There's a deep attraction. I mean, she's very attractive. She's very nurturing. She's lovely, okay? This is somebody opening up. Somebody's been wanting to resist this. They've been wanting to resist this, but I'm not sure if they can. Maybe their inner guide has been poking them. You know, we've talked about those pokes. Maybe they've received some higher guidance, okay, because this is like a guidance, a higher power. This is a guidance counselor. This is God or your higher power talking to you. So somebody may have received the message that, you know, this could lead to wish fulfillment. This is a blessing. She gives birth to a blessing. She does. It's a miracle. When she gives birth, she re it's a freaking miracle. It is a miracle. So I think we have somebody here that has been, you know, this is this is the master of non-attachment. We have somebody here that has been afraid of attachment, not wanting to attach or detach from their current circumstances. But there's this unconditional love looking right at them. Mm, this may be a past life relationship. It, it could be. Whatever this is, it's probably reawakened feelings of love. Somebody's got that love and feeling. I don't know. Strength. Very attractive. There's a very there's a strong attraction here. You know, somebody may, is definitely trying to restrain themselves. This guy, this this is this because this is kind of like an alpha male. Okay, this is like an alpha male, and this is like the empress taming this male. So I'm wondering if, you know. Somebody is, is going to let this person in. Somebody's making a decision, the Seven of Cups. They're coming out of con confusion. Somebody is making a decision to go after wish fulfillment. You know, they may be dealing with a person that makes them feel weak. It makes them, you know, that they want to trust. You know, they want to let in. Maybe they do trust this person. We could be dealing with this, like, I don't know why I want to say alpha male. or this. I don't know why I want to say that. But this male or masculine that, you know, has been resisting this love, resisting this, I don't know why. We have somebody there that, here that has been resisting. But this person is so graceful and this person is so generous and this person is so beautiful and there's so much um, sensuality about this person that it's hard to resist. This is the, the Knight of Cups. This is an offer of love coming in. Somebody's receiving an offer of love. There's a relationship that is stepping it up in some way. Either somebody is getting into a commitment or a new offer of love is coming in. Whoever this person is, I think you've known them before. This is an offer of love. There's somebody that is on their way. It's like they got a big offer in their hands. Looks like their decision has been made. Somebody is moving forward. 
They may, may have been keeping their feelings a secret. They may have been trying to resist it for as long as they could. But this is now, I think we have somebody here that is wanting this deep bond or they're wanting this deep fulfillment or they're wanting this relationship or they're wanting, or they're wanting to, or they're being called to or they've been told to follow their heart. We have a relationship that is growing, put it that way. Somebody who's seen the light, they're coming out of dark, the darkness. Somebody that may have left you in the cold, or they may have ghosted you, or they may have ignored you, or they, who knows what happened. They may, they may have come to some sort of realization or something. They've seen the light. It's like they're ready to face their insecurities. And open. I think we have somebody here that is about to open up. It's like they're coming out of this darkness. They may have rejected you or they may have pushed you away or they may have disappeared out of the blue and now they're coming in with an offer of some sort. Somebody's coming in with an offer of love. Now, if if it's not if it's not this person that you have known before, this could be somebody new who is going to help you come out of a period of difficulty. They're going to help you to open up. They're going to help you to, you know, step into a new a new horizon, a new a new path, okay? So we do have an offer of love coming in, an emotional offer. Somebody is coming in with some sort of a love offer, okay? They have made a decision that this is this is this is uh, an opportunity to have it all. I mean, the Knight of Cups is to have it all. If you are single, you're completely single, and you don't know anybody, and you don't know who this could be. I th there could be somebody that you that you totally don't expect. You could be meeting a real love soon that you could have a deep soul connection with. Put it that way. <laughs> could end up leading whoever this is for. Somebody, somebody is is probably heading into something that could lead to a strong commitment. Somebody's about to open up. There's no joke here. It's like they're ready to let somebody in. They're ready to let somebody love them. I think this person, whoever this person is, has been resisting but there's 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 just so much tender loving care here there is somebody has made a decision that they need to go after this they need to go after this bond they need to go after this wish fulfillment that's what i see so I, an offer is coming with this nine of cups somebody is taking action this is like prince charming right here this knight of cups coming to help you Coming to help you out of this darkness. Coming to, you know, help you open up. Or they're opening up. Somebody's opening up. They're following their heart. That's what we got here. Somebody is following their heart. And it's leading them into a relationship with somebody that I think... They could end up having a really deep bond with. Deep, 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 deep. The decision has been made with the Seven of Cups. It's like there's no more thinking about it. The decision has been made. Somebody has made a choice that they want to have it all. Yeah, somebody's woken up. Somebody has had some sort of awakening. They now see the truth, and they're about to take the power in their own hands. This is the raw truth. Nothing but the truth. Somebody sees the truth. They have woken up. This is an awakening, right? 
And here they come. Somebody is going to come charging in like... <laughs> I can't even think of the word. Well, it just wildfire that's 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 what it was it was it was why it's like here they come and they're coming with some kind of honest communication they're there they've got nothing to lose at this point it's like i have to go i'm on my way here they come somebody is moving very very quickly towards a partnership that i think there's been some miscommunication or there's been some sort of breakup and it's like here they come they don't want it. they don't want to lose this connection they don't want it to they don't want to lose it that's the truth too <laughs> that is the truth too it's funny it's like no i don't want i don't want to break up i don't want to break up i don't want to do this i don't and this is a you know i don't i don't want to let this go it's like, it's, I want to heal this situation. I want to work together. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm ready to compromise. This is somebody who wants to cooperate. Somebody that want, is willing to like do anything to make this work. So I think the time is now. Some The time is now. The time is now for this person. This person is like, thinks that, you know, I have, I have to, it's time for me to heal this situation. It's time for us to come together and work together and ready to compromise. I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's what I see. Um... This is a reunion or, or a reconciliation of some sort. Yeah, somebody doesn't doesn't want to lose this. They don't want to give this up. They 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 don't want to let go. They see it as a blessing, and they don't want to let it go. It's true. There's been a, there's been an ending here. Something has ended. Something has ended, and and, and they and, and it feels like they somebody they want to heal it before all hope is gone. You know they, they they still have some hope left, and they don't they don't want whoever this person is to lose all hope. So I feel like we have somebody here that is. moving forward very quickly because they want to heal a partnership that has there's been some sort of breakup there's been some sort of fight or there's been some sort of argument or there's been some sort of miscommunication or disconnection that has caused somebody to give up somebody has given up and now we have this other person that is just like I can't let this go this is, I, I got to I, I get the hell out of my way. I'm going to heal this situation. I'm going to fix this situation. I'll do whatever, anything. Somebody is coming. They've had some sort of awakening. Somebody is going to be receiving a message, an, an exciting message. This is the page of wands. This is, this is good news. It's like somebody is, 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 is. thinking very positive they're thinking that they can that they can you know they have confidence they have courage it's like we have somebody here that is it's like they got this new vision they got this new vision and they've decided to take a new approach And they're about, they're about to they're about to come burst right into your world, and I think what's what, what's what's happened is is there's been some sort of ending, there's been some sort of painful separation, there's been some sort of painful ending, or painful communication, or something that, you know, has woken them up. There is a message coming through. There's a message coming in. It's an exciting message. It's going to make somebody happy. 
This is from somebody that is very well suited for you. There may be a little bit of an age difference, but it's a great combination. This person um, may get distracted from time to time, but they have, um, this person has good intentions. The devil reverse. This is somebody taking back control. We got somebody here that is breaking free from an unhealthy state of mind. They're, they're letting go of their ego. They're letting go of their pride. They're breaking free from something that was toxic and unhealthy and taking back control. That's what we got here. It's like they're ready to face their fears. So be prepared. Get prepared. I, a message is coming. It's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be unexpected. It is definitely going to be unexpected. It's going to be honest. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be uh, intense. It's gonna make you feel. It's going. It's gonna. There's feelings gonna be involved with this Knight of Cups. Um, it's going to. Yeah. Really. Um. Well, I think it's really going gonna, it's, it's gonna to shake you up. I do. I think it's going to shake you up because you don't expect it. You don't expect it. Um, whatever this message is, it's good news. It's exciting. And this person's intentions are to heal there, there are to heal something. Their, their intentions are to come together. They're to work together. To compromise. To, you know. It's almost like commit. Commit to, making this work. What, what, what? You know that kind of thing. What do I have to do to make this work? It's like somebody is coming in with some sort of commitment, you know, to make this work. And this communication is coming, no doubt. Some sort of communication is coming. It's like. It's what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this to happen. And here it, here it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to come back. Seven of, seven of swords reverse. Some, be careful. You know, be careful. If you don't want, I mean, this is, and I don't know if I need, even need to say, this is what some of you want. Somebody needs to come back. It's like there's unfinished business here. Somebody is coming back. And But the thing is, is I feel like it's honest. I think it's truthful. I think that whoever this person is that's coming back, it's, I feel like they've got this, they've got this new vision. They've, they've been, they've been spoken to, okay? They've been spoken to, you know? And now, and now they see the purpose. They see the reason. This is the purpose. They see the reason. And they want to take back control of their life. They want to break free from this unhealthy situation that they have been trapped in. You know, they may have um, been unaware. They may have not seen, you know, the reality of whatever something was. They were resisting change. But now it's like now they, they see. This is this, they see the beauty. They see the abundance. They see the love. I don't know what this is. Or they see the bond, you know. They, or they see the opportunity for a strong bond. They see the opportunity for a blessing here. So anyway, I feel as though somebody is going to receive an exciting message from somebody that may have betrayed them and left them in the cold. They may have ghosted them or something like that. That could be the case. This could be somebody brand new coming into your life. It could be with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. It certainly has happened that way for me before, you know, so it could for you as well. You know, you think it's somebody from the past and somebody new comes charging in that you didn't even see coming. Somebody is coming into your life so fast that you don't even see it coming. And that's what I see. Whether it's somebody from the past or somebody new, it's somebody that you are going to be very familiar with. It's somebody that is going to, that either has reawakened your feelings of love or they are going to reawaken your feelings of love. It's like the time is now. This is love. It is love. There's a feeling. I mean, she she delivers love, okay? So this is love, okay? 
with the Knight of Cups, it, it leads to love. It leads to commitment. If it doesn't, if it if it doesn't start, if it's not love already, it leads to love. Okay, it leads to love. Um, a deep, deep, deep bond. Okay, so I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take action. Absolutely. It's like the time is now. They can't wait. They can't, they gotta go. They gotta go right. It's like they can't wait. Time is of the essence. I gotta get moving. I gotta go back. I gotta take control of this situation before all hope is gone. Before all hope is lost. It's like they can't stay in this state of suspension or limbo anymore or limbo anymore because it's come so close to being completely over. There we got the hair of font again, and, and this is the last card. This is commitment. They have heard. They have. They have been told. This is the hair of font again. So somebody has been told from their higher power, from God, from whoever else they honor. The message has been heard loud and clear. It's a time to believe. It's a time to trust. It's time to follow your own path. So I think we have a new commitment that is stepping it up another level. A message is coming in that you probably don't see coming. Expect the unexpected. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. This is a major life change. It's a major life choice. Somebody is about back, about to take back control and go after. <laughs> go down an exciting new path, put it that way. Let's just go with that because, I mean, whatever. It looks like it's a relationship to me with this Knight of Cups. They're coming in with a loving, passionate, honest, truthful offer, Okay. That is what I got. Good luck.